Welcome to my YouTube channel, Journey of a Child of God. Please don't forget to subscribe. Jesus is the reason. Go out to the highway and edges and compel them to come in so that my house may be filled again. Jesus is the only reason. Welcome to my YouTube channel, Journey of a Child of God. My name is Karen Johnson. I am delighted to be doing this video as it has been a long time since I've actually been on this channel. But I must embrace this change because it's time for a change. It has been too long that I was away. And today my video is about change change it is more along down the line of a motivational video but it is something that if you are looking for change change can be big change can be small whatever you're looking for but if you just need a change i believe that if you apply these five words to your circumstances to and establish this change i believe this change can come about and what really is change? Change is when you exchange one thing for another to make or become different, to improve. So a lot of us, sometimes we just need to improve on ourselves, while some of us actually need to give up something to really be in the purpose that God has for us. Some of us, we're not in the right career pathway because that's not what God has established for us sometimes we're not in the will of God because if you're called to do God's work and you out there doing a nine-to-five job where you're not able to do God work then you're not in the will or purpose of God so it calls for change a lot of us sometimes we are so in our comfort zone that we don't want to establish that change a lot of us sometimes we're holding on to fear that we really don't want to just step out there and make this change possible. So today I'm here to encourage you to make change, embrace change. And what are the five words that I'm looking at today to bring forth change if you desire change? The first one is changing your mindset. Change your mindset. Change your mind. The Word of God says, that we must renew our mind daily we not daily but renew our mind i had the word daily i believe that a child of god if we renew our mind if we change our mind to line up with the word of god if we do what the word of god says i believe that change can come about yes change is possible yes change also takes time change sometimes it's not just an overnight situation it's just not something that you can accomplish overnight but over a period of time you can and i believe that change can come over a period of time if you change your mindset speak the word of god over your life over your situation if you meditate upon the word of god if you meditate on what you want to be changed if you can perceive it if you can see it with the eyes of your mind then change is possible but you have to work on your mind you have to work on the fact that yes you believe that is possible you have to work on your mind to see it a lot of us if we can see the change in our mind then we can approach it then we can make that different but first work on your mind let your mind believe that you can do it let your mind tell you that yes you it's possible it is possible all things are possible but first we have to get it right in our mind and if we get it right in our mind maybe i'm not saying the right words here today to help you but if you say to yourself that i'm gonna focus on my mind what can i change about my mind what can I change about the thoughts that I have what can I change about the things that appear in my mind what can I do to to, to, to be different if you just 
tell you ask yourself these questions and tell yourself that um i can do it you know just an example what if god has created you to go out there and preach the word of god but you're stuck in a classroom teaching kids so, ki teaching kids how do you go about that you have to tell yourself that this is not for me i gotta leave this alone and i gotta go out there to preach the word of god so i gotta embrace the change that will come with that another word that I would look at to make change in myself is faith. Faith, we all know this. Hebrew 11 verse 1, it says, Now faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. The evidence of things not seen. Sometimes we don't see it physically, but sometimes we can see it with the eyes of our mind. So if we can establish that change in our mind, that is enough for us we don't have to see it physical we don't have to know what's going to happen physically but when we hold on to the faith to believe that all things are possible when we hold on to our faith to believe that it is possible sometimes it doesn't matter how long it takes if we just continue to believe that it is possible one day that possibility will become a reality so let us work on our faith increase our faith a child of god currency is faith we can go wherever we want to go with faith i mean faith can take us a far way so first get your mindset right second it's faith okay third is self-control and i like to do three and four together self-control and self-discipline I think they go hand in hand together that's what I believe I think self-control and self-discipline really work well together a quote by Aristotle and I like Aristotle he's a philosopher I like the things that he says he said through self-discipline comes freedom through self-discipline comes freedom. That is something deep. If you should really meditate upon that. It says, through self-discipline comes freedom. And there's another quote that I really love by Greenville. It says, by constant self-discipline and self-control, you can develop greatness of character. Through through constant self-discipline and self-control, you can develop greatness of character. Now, when I go back to the Word of God, and when I think back on the Word of God, when you find in Galatians 5, verse 22 to 23, it talks about the fruit of the Spirit. But the fruit of the Spirit, it is love, joy, peace, patience, gentleness, goodness, faith meekness and self-control it says against such there is no law self-control is one of the fruit of the spirit self-control it's the ability to control your emotions and action and i find self-control to be something very deep and i don't think it is easy and i've seen that for my own self that sometimes our emotions has a lot to do with our own actions and sometimes if we are not careful our emotions will run away but with the word of God teaching yourself and teaching yourself the word of God meditating upon the word of God reading the word of god basically is teaching yourself the word of god and you start to meditate upon what god is saying and when you say god is saying this so how am i not doing what god is saying and then you start to meditate a little bit more and say but how can i actually become this you actually after a while you will find yourself that you're able to live the word of god 
and you're able better able to control your emotions better able to control your your actions i think that is why jesus christ really died for us you know he took away our sins he set us free and when we meditate upon the word of god which is light we are better able to position ourselves to overcome these emotions the flesh it, this is the fleshy part of us you know and a lot of times we can be so carried away with this action here we can be so carried away so if we can be if we can find ourselves controlling ourselves controlling things around us controlling our thoughts controlling what we need to do and and what we must do then we're better able to make a lot of changes in, in ourselves what what really is self-discipline mm. self-discipline it's the ability to make yourself do the things you know you should not even do when you want to so self-discipline is the ability to do the thing that you know you must do you know you have this to do a lot of us we go to work or we have a responsibility to take care of something in our particular particular time a particular day sometimes we might not want to do it but when we see that there's no other way we have to do it then we get up and do it so for us to make change we have to act like that we have to get up and do what we must do no matter how we feel no matter what say for instance i really need to lose some weight and i have to develop this self discipline to exercise to motivate myself and to get it done when you go start when you start exercising you can feel a lot of pain soreness of the muscles but you have to tell yourself that this is the way this is the only way there's no other way so you have to have that control over your action that control over your attitude to know that I have to fight through the pain for me to lose this weight this is what I have to do and another word that I actually want to pay attention to is patience and I believe this is the fifth word yes your mind faith self-discipline self-control and the fifth one is patience and again I'm gonna quote from Aristotle he said patience is bitter but the fruit is sweet can you imagine patience is bitter but the fruit is sweet we must be patient with ourselves for change to take place we must be patient with ourselves because change it really it takes time and that's what i had to learn for myself that change do take time according to james james 1 and I'm, i will quote from verse 2 to 4 it says my bridging count it all joy when you fall into various trials knowing that the testing of your faith produce patience the testing of your faith produce patience but let patience have its perfect work that you may be perfect and complete lacking nothing so he's saying let patience have its perfect work that when patience already have its perfect work you will have lack nothing you would have been complete basically what is patience according to the dictionary it is the ability to continue to do something despite difficulties or to suffer without complaining or becoming annoyed a lot of times sometimes each each of us part way can be a lot of we can suffer a lot maybe your path doesn't require to so doesn't require you to suffer as much as somebody has pathway but we must embrace our own pathway we must embrace our own pathway maybe your path come this way who knew when jesus christ came 
for us who knew that he would have to suffer in this pathway I mean God could have chosen another way for him to suffer think about he came in a time when people had to be hanged people went up in went on the cross that time you suffered in a different kind of way right now maybe suffering is not like that because nobody see anybody being hung on a cross now where you have nail going through the natural hands where your feet have nails no maybe suffering now is like some people might do something bad and they go and sit down in, in a jail cell and some of them while they're in the cell they actually can go to school they actually can work and make money so suffering is relative but all of us have to go through some form of suffering so let us not compare our journey to anybody else but let us know that for us to get where we want we have to be patient patient so focus on these five words mindset faith self-control self-discipline patience and see how far you can get in this life or get to fulfill the purpose that god has lined out for your life now michael jackson said start with the man in the mirror and i find that to be something very powerful that we we must start with the man in the mirror when we look in the mirror who do i see do i see somebody else no i see my own self so when i look in the mirror who do i see i see myself so let us start with the man in the mirror let us make the change that we need to our own self and while we are making that change to ourselves, to line up with the Word of God, line up with the will of God that God has for our life, maybe we can make a lot of changes in other people's life while we are making changes in our own life. Change begins with the man in the mirror. So first you have to identify it. You got to want it. You got to need it that much that you fight for it. It can only be you who is going to fight for that change. So let change start with the man in the mirror. That's the word that I have for you today to encourage you. As a child of God, let us have change within us. Let us change to line up with the word of God. Let us change to line up to fulfill the purpose that God has established up, upon our own life what i am doing now i should have started like maybe eight to ten years back yes this revelation came to me about ten between eight and ten years ago and the devil just tried so hard to distract me from my purpose here i am eight or ten years later doing the will of god the purpose that is upon my life so I could have been eight years ahead but now I'm eight to ten years behind getting change out there getting change done in my life so let this be an example to you who's watching this video what are you called for what is your purpose in this life what are you doing to fulfill it what really are you doing I would like to thank you for watching this video thanking you also for subscribing to journey of a child of God if you think this video was of some help to you you can give it a thumbs up also you can give a comment let me know what do you think let me know what you would like to see in future videos thank you so much for tuning in see you in my next video and remember change the way you think change your mindset faith self-control self-discipline and patience 
these five things i'm not saying these are the only things of course i would not be saying that but i'm saying these five things can make a great difference in our life au revoir adios bye bye